folks, I've got to scores on the doors, a very, very little bit of racing news. But before I give it, and it's a better day today, by the way, so um, some of you know the results, some of you don't. I'll share them with you in a minute. Good day out there. We never had many tipsters, but the results were good. Um, but firstly, I've got to thank you, and I've also got a suggestion for some of you. You don't have to take me up on the suggestion. I'd like those I'm giving the th thank you to accept it, because it's much appreciated. The thank you is this. Since going on my holiday... Um, everything's dropped, my views have dropped, numbers have dropped, subscribers have dropped, everything. It happened the same last year. It happens when you go on holiday. You don't put as much content out and it's not as good and it's rushed and people have to get back used to you. I'm fine with it. Don't worry about that at all. The scores on the door section is struggling as well. It normally gets sort of two, three, three, four, five hundred people watching. If it's a special one or a good run, it can get more. That ain't a problem. I'm not complaining about anything. But the numbers have been really low of late. We've had some at 80, 100, 150. Before the person that keeps putting in the, the thumbs down, there's only one of you or two of you, don't start celebrating. I'm going to carry on doing it, so don't worry about that. And I'm not panicking or worried or whatever else. But I want to say a thank you to those of you that have been with the channel for many a month now and that watch it religious, religiously. Because there's a certain number of you in that 80, 90, 100, 140 that are watching every single scores on the doors I do. You're the core of the channel, and I thank you very, very, very much. Honestly, it's much appreciated. Right, the suggestion I'll make, I made it a week ago and nobody took me up on it, or not many did. I'll make it one more time. In fact, I'll give you the scores on the doors and then I'll make the suggestion one more time. And it will only be, well, it might not be only one more time, but I won't bang on about it. Scores on the doors, right. How did we do today? Well, as far as I could see, we only had five people playing. I can only find Flat Cap, Mickey, Horsepower Hint, Andy and Stephen Harris. If anybody else posted anything today, I couldn't find it. That's all I found. So we've got, what, 5, 7, 11, 14, 16 horses. Only 16 there, but we've done really well. A couple of people have messaged in the comment section that a couple have done well, and they have, uh, although they're not the winners today. Let's go from uh, nothing great with Andy or Stephen Harris today. Uh, but we'll go from the top one. Flat cap. Uh, somebody posted earlier that I'd had a really good winner. I think he gave a single out and he also gave uh, five horses out with various multiples. With the five horses, I think he had a 25 to 1 placed, but nothing with it. Uh, but his single horse won. It won at 8. And you know, that's what we do with the channel. He's had an 8 to 1 winner today. But that doesn't tell the full story. He gave it out at 14s, I think it was. And he's very, very, very fair. I told you before about Callum. Probably more fair than anybody on the the whole um, YouTube platform. Um, he said many could get 16, but but not with loads of bookies, so I think he was putting it out at 14. But I think he said there's still a bit of 33 to 1 available, but maybe maybe only with one bookie. But because it was with only one bookie, he wouldn't give that out on his own channel. I believe a few of his members avail themselves of the 33 to 1. So a cracking 33 to 1 plunged on and down to 8 to 1. So whatever happened in the 5 horse, he was going to be in front today. Sadly, the five also went down, but it's a good day for Flat Cap there. Mickey, Mickey did really well. Mickey gave a horse, one at 11 to 2. He also gave, that was given each way. He also gave another horse two points win. That was unlucky, came second. And he get, gave it a forecast with another horse that came third. So if it wasn't for the actual winner, who's was only one minute ago, he would have had the forecast, the winner and everything else. So he was unlucky there. But it's another good profitable day for Mickey there. But the winner of the day for my money, without a shadow of a doubt, is HPH again. Horsepower Hints. He's given four today. He came nowhere with two of them. Um, but he had a winner advised as a win bet. He normally does each way, unless they're less than five to one. He gave a win bet at seven to two. That went out to four. So on the channel, this channel, he gets fours. He also gave a horse at six to one uh, each way. That went out to 14s and won at 14s. So HPH is out of two, out of four horses today. He's had a fourteen to one winner and a four to one winner. So at seven points minus 18, 19, 20, 13 points up. If my maths are correct, no, it's more than that. There's an each way there. Probably nearly sixteen points up. I would guess I'm doing it very quickly. Fifteen, sixteen points up. You can't argue with that. And that's the suggestion, folks. I mentioned it a few days ago. I think when you look at those that are being followed on on YouTube. Um, I'm not on about the, the people that have gone. I mean, the, some of the people that have gone have got lots of followers and God only knows why. We're one of them. I think it's for the entertainment value. Entertainingly bad, but entertaining at the same time and funny at the same time. But we've got Mickey with loads of subscribers, probably been on longer than anybody else, and all deserved. No problems on that score. 
We've got Flat Cat that's been on longer than most. Lots of subscribers and doing well, and deserves to, as the winner today proves. We've got Connor who's doing really well. Andy and Chella that aren't doing too bad. Uh, Peter that's a, a, bit of, a bit of a sabbatical at the moment, but doing okay. Dave the suit considering when he started, because he started after most people doing really, really well. But he does the job really well, Dave. He's got a different way of doing things, and many people like it. I, I personally love it, and he's had some nice price winners. But I would suggest too, as I said it before, that are struggling for subscribers, and I don't think should be, but it's just my, it's just my opinion, would be Pegasus and Horsepower Hints. And Horsepower Hints in the last few days has done brilliantly. Pegasus had 10 or 12 days away, maybe a bit less. Came back, what was it, a 14 to 1 and a 6 to 1 winner or something like that. I think he's had two winning days out of three. Um, he always goes for bigger prices, so he says on a monthly basis you'll probably win with me, but there'll be lots of losing days. Very much like Flat Cap, and like a couple of others on here. He doesn't go for the shorties. Um, and HPH has the odd one under 5 to 1, but the bulk of his horses are 6 to 1 and above, but often in double figures, and he always mentions each way. And he hits the, the post pretty regularly. Now, some have said to me, and I get that, I think some have said, well, I think some of the ones that struggle for subscribers, part of the problem is they don't come on in, they don't show their face, which is fine. If that's their one, that's fine. And some have said they think people like dealing with people when they can see who they're dealing with. And I have get that. I do have get that. But I think Pegasus and HPH are doing particularly well, and I think they deserve more. That's just my opinion. All I will say, folks, if you don't want to miss out on some good tips, have a look at them both. I mean, HPH today, I mean, they had somebody messaging me earlier, Keith messaged earlier, He's done great with a 6, 14 to 1, 8 to 1 winner, but he gave out 30 thieves, blah, 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 blah. I would imagine at that time, Keith didn't know uh, HPH had a 14 to 1 winner. And then he's had a 4 to 1 winner, as I say, thereafter. So, I mean, he's the winner today. And he's got, what, 300 and odd subscribers. And he was saying today how pleased, or last night how pleased he is to pass the 300. And I'm thinking, the boy deserves a lot more than that. A hell of a lot more. So, all I would say, folks, go have a look at his channel. He may not show his face. David Pegasus may not, but what they do, and I think is pretty good, and I think they deserve more. That's just my opinion. There's nothing in it for me, folks. He doesn't even know I'm posting this on here. In fact, if he does see it, though, or if any of his people see it, tell HPH, or not tell HPH, if, if he's interested, get him come to the channel, we'll have a chat with him. Again, as, as we did with Peter a long time ago, and maybe as we did with Pegasus. It's all just on a phone, his face won't be shown, and if he wants a chat to tell us what he does, anything about himself and how he does it, it might just bring a few more subscribers to him when people get to know a little bit more about him. They might get a feel for him and it, it might help him a bit. I've got no problem doing that if he wants to do it over the next couple of weeks. That's up to himself. Um, I need to speak to Dave at Pegasus the next few days. He's messaged me a couple of times and I've been remiss not to get back. But honestly, I'm up to here and he's, as he probably is himself, but with life and everything else. Right, did they have a couple of horse racing stories? I did, just a couple of quick ones. The Shark, if you've not heard... The Shark, I think, he had a 10-month ban, talking about closing the yard down and knocking it on the head altogether. He's, they've now reduced it to six months, but they virtually said to him, look, it's six months, I think, from December, but if you come to us with a proposal, or if you come to us cap in hand, we'll take the last three months of it off um, as long as you uh, meet a bit of criteria we're asking for. I think they sort of saying to him, look, it's a six-month ban, we'll suspend the last three months of it if, during the first three months, you have nothing to do with the training of the racehorses, and nothing to do with instructions to the jockeys. Um, I think hopefully you might go for that and you might do it with a three-month ban. We don't want people not earning money, do we? Um, so that's number one. And number two, I noticed yesterday, I meant to record it yesterday, Emily Upjohn is going to the uh, Breeders' Cup, and I thought straight away, great, I hope I can get a match bet on there. I'll be betting against Emily, whatever goes against it. Um, and then I thought, got a decent record over there, Gosden, and Upjohn might just like it over there. And our British horses and the turf races do better than theirs do. And then I read today, it was out yesterday, I think, we're going to say, I think Frankie's going to get booked for Emily. I'm still thinking I'll probably bet against it, but Frankie on board makes a, a different proposal altogether. But I'm looking at it again and I'm thinking, they're saying they're approaching Frankie. They're saying the owners of Emily Upjohn want Frankie. I think one of them's uh, is it Lloyd Webber? I think it is. And they say, look, he's got experience of the course. He's rode over there over many a year. I think he's been riding that course while he's been there since he's moved to America. So he knows the nooks and crannies of it. So you get that, and you get that he was, possibly still is a world-class jockey. But again, I say, doesn't look great for Kieran Schumacher, does it? Even though you can understand it, it doesn't look great there. It doesn't, you know, if I'm Schumacher, I'm gutted to hear that. But that said, 
they never took the ride off Schumacher. I think he's rode it five, maybe I think, I think six times this year. I think he's come second twice, but never got his nose in front. So again, you can understand it. But I was, well, no, I wasn't surprised. I just thought it was a shame for Schumacher. But then again, I can understand them doing it. So Emily up John to the Breeders' Cup. Looks like Frankie's on board, and the shark ten months hopefully down to three. Hopefully he'll take the the punishment there, take his medicine, and hopefully he'll be back after three months. I think he's a good addition to the game, the Shark. He's good VFM, as my mate used to say. Anyway, with that, I'll leave you with it. But well done, uh, Mickey. Flat cap at HPH today. Really well done. Nice positive schools on the doors today.